All right, 14 kV or bust. You can see we are 50 microseconds per division. This is uh, 5,000 volts per division. And you can see we're reading 12.4 volts peak, so that's 12,400 volts and a 50 microsecond full width half height. I had taken the meter apart and it did not appear that we had caused any damage. So I ended up using our old buddy here. All right, so this is going to be a little over 12,000 volts with a 50 microsecond full width half height. Again, this is with a 2 ohm source impedance. Let's see, we're at 12.2. Okay, that's it. Fortunately, the batteries died in my scope during this run. But I didn't hear it break down at all. That's what I use that scope for, just to kind of monitor things. Let's just see. So this will be 5 volts. That looks fine still. This should be 118 millivolt. That looks fine. Should be 60 hertz. That seems fine. And this will be 500 degrees. That looks fine. And this is with a short. That appears fine. It's with a 10 mega ohm resistor. Looks good. This is continuity check. Just try the capacitance mode. That looks fine. This is a 0.1 microfarad. Looks good. Alright, I'll go ahead and functional test it. And I'll have to charge up the batteries in the scope. And then we'll set our transient generator up for 14. Alright, so the meter pass is functional just fine. So I've changed our setup. You can see we are at 10 microseconds per division. This is still 5 kV. But we are now reading 14.6. This is our peak to peak, so 14.6 kV. Alright, so this will be 5 transients at roughly 14.6 kV peak with a 2 ohm source impedance and a full width half height of 50 microseconds. Alright, so the camera batteries died right after the scope batteries, and I didn't have a spare set, so I've charged up a whole new set of batteries overnight. We'll just finish where we left off. So we have to run all the negative transients now. It's just a little over 14,000 volts. We'll give it one more for good measure. All right, that's it. This will be 5 volt. This should be 2.5. 60 volt. Should be 2.5. And 
and this should be 2.5 should be 60 Hertz should be 50 percent should be 118 this should be 60 Hertz that should be 50 percent Try temperature should be roughly 500 degrees. Again, we can go a little over a thousand. This is with a short. This will be our 40 mag resistor. Continuity test, diode check with a short, capacitance looks about right, this will be a 10 microfarad capacitor. Alright, so the meter looks good, let me go ahead and finish functional testing it. Alright, so our modified Cassante ZT102 survived all those tests. So that was 14,000 volts at a 50 microsecond full width half height. That is right on par with what I've tested the Fluke 101 at. So pretty good, but I think we can do better. This generator actually has the capability of going up quite high in voltage. So here's some uncharted territory. This is 5,000 volts per division and you can see we're a little past three divisions and the cursor is set for the peak at 17,000 volts with a 50 microsecond full with half height the highest levels that I've ever tested to were with the Fluke 107 and I think that failed somewhere at 15 or 16,000 volts what I'm going to do is give this thing five transients in just the voltage mode We'll try a negative and positive. Let's just see if this will damage this meter finally. Alright, so we're just going to run this in the voltage input. Again, this will be 17,000 volts with a 50 microsecond full width half height and a 2 ohm source impedance. Well, unfortunately, you can see it broke down. I ran it twice just so we could kind of get a feel for what that looked like with a high-speed camera. I'm not too surprised that that broke down. That's a lot of voltage. All right, so let's just have a look. This will be with our 5-volt signal. So it doesn't look like we've damaged anything. Again, let's try her at 2.5. That looks fine. Let's see if resistance still works. And this will be a 10 mega ohm resistor. So it looks good. And again, the peak voltage of that transient was higher than I've tested any of the flukes or any meter at actually. And again, if that had been done with a real IEC transient generator, I would pretty much guarantee that this meter would be non-existent. You know, there's a lot more energy in those transient generators than what I test to with these smaller generators. Again, about 20 joules with these is it. That's why I'm not too concerned about running these with this cover open. And again, I'm not trying to evaluate these meters for safety. I'm not trying to blow the cases apart. Well, that's going to be it for the Kassun test. Again, 14,000 volts or bust. I think we've achieved that later.